Hey, Aaron. Um, this is your first three-game losing streak uh, since the end of June and the beginning of July. How how every game is big, but how big is tomorrow to just break out of this? Every day is big. That, that that is the answer. Uh, you know, whether we're in the midst of ten in a row, now we've dropped three in a row. Um, you know, we we'll give JMO the ball tomorrow and come out and and go get one. What did you like out of Corey tonight? Obviously, really good. The first few innings, real pitch efficient. Then comes out and gets the first batter of the fourth. Um, you know, and then gets some. Not a ton of hard contact there for a couple. And then, you know, obviously, uh, Stasi works the walk on it. He's a pitch away from getting out of that inning there. And then, um, and then he, hang, you know, hangs a pitch there to Mayfield, who, really, you know, really put a charge into it. You know, I thought Mayfield got a pretty good swing off on him the first time when he got him out, actually, on a similar pitch. And then he didn't miss that next one. And, um, you know, they were aggressive against them, they were, they were going up there hunting early. And, uh, you know, credit to their offense. They, they put together a pretty good offensive uh, output tonight and, and obviously a big fourth inning there against Corey. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah. We can go next to Brendan Cuddy. Aaron, did you get the impression that Corey might have started to run a little bit out of gas at that point? Or did you think, again, like you said, just a good offensive uh, output? Yeah, I thought he was okay. I mean, by the end, by the end of that day, I mean, that was his... You know, um, Lagares was going to be his last hitter, but then, at, you know, after the home run, the base hit, you know, that would have come to an end that inning as he got up over 30 pitches in that inning. But I don't think stuff-wise he, you know, and again, we'll dive into it and look at it, but I don't think stuff-wise he fell off a ton. You know, the one mistake that that was a four ball, you know, really got him. Bingo next, Eric Boland. Aaron, you mentioned his stuff from a, a stuff standpoint. What was most encouraging to you what you saw out there tonight? Yeah, <clears throat> look, I, I think more when you go back and look at Corey, you know, because he's not going to light up the radar gun, but I thought he executed a lot of good breaking balls. It looked like from the side, like the depth on those pitches were really good. You know, he's able to lock some guys up with some sinkers, which tells you it's moving how you want it to. Um, but again, it's it's one of those you go back and look and take a look at all the movement qualities. And and my guess is it was probably pretty strong. Thanks. Yeah. We go next to Marley Rivera. Um, hey, Aaron. Obviously, Heaney getting uh, hurt again by the long ball. What did you see there from him? Well, just a, a hanger to Otani. And, you know, he's been doing that all year. So, um, yeah, probably, you know, just not an executed pitch there in that spot, and 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 Otani got him. And Aaron, obviously, you know, one of them was against you, but that uh, mo those two monster home runs today. What was that like to watch? One from Otani, and of course, another one from Giancarlo. Yeah, um, the Otani one I didn't like. I didn't like watching that one. Um, and but Geez was impressive. You know, I think he went up there with his plan and got a pitch and hit it into the rocks and, and obviously at the time tied the score. So it was, it was a really big blow for us and we just, we just couldn't finish it off tonight. 